Here we go, Silver the Light Hacker. This is the one that I was hyping the most. This is the one that I was the most excited about because he's got the 33 speed lead, which means that even if his skills are average, he is going to be a great unit. Because that's how Summoner's War works. As long as you have a 33 speed lead, that half of the battle is won. So we've got the first skill, Brand, 70% chance, the same as the other one. The second skill is the same as the Water one, grants the irresistible effect on all... Right, this is the Water one, right? Uh, no, yes, cracking, <laughs> yes, uh, grants the irresistible effect on all enemies for one turn with an 80% chance and absorbs their attack bar by 30% each with a 60% chance target under the irresistible effect cannot resist any types of har any types of harmful effects. This is going to be great with a control team, especially because he's got the speed lead. And then we have the duality of hackers grants immunity for two turns on all allies and attacks all enemies to grant suppression for one turn. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to, I'm hoping we are going to be able to see some crazy combos with this guy today. Oh God, <laughs> this is why I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't know what I was, yeah, just full LD5 comp, right? Okay, right, remember what game it is, right? So let's see, does not get the Nephthys. Increased cooldowns on the Nephthys there though. Yeah, Veramoss is actually going to be really nice here. I hate to say it, but Veramoss could uh, could steal the show. He's just going to get so many so many turns, a lot of healing. They're going to need to do some defense breaks with Nephthys and then get some crazy. Well, they have they have some uh, CC with the Veramoss there. Uh, against the Veramos there with the uh, the silver. Yeah, this uh, this Alexandra is gonna need to need to go ham as soon as she gets a chance. They don't get the debuffs. Okay, well she had a glancing. Okay, so defense breaks here, and then. Veramos is just so strong here. That was a really great pick. That gets resisted. As soon as they take the Veramos down, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a different story. They're so close. <laughs> They're so close to having an opportunity to do something. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Now we're going to see some craziness. All right. Cracking skill two. I mean, theoretically, that could have been nice against Veramos, but the the, uh, the decreased attack age part so that he wouldn't get a turn. But they, they really needed that defense break and then Alexandra to go crazy. And then, yeah. But the 33 speed lead, I mean, already came in handy. First pick silver. I feel like I would pick that towards the end because... You can kind of, like, anything very rare, you can kind of play around uh, around your opponent's comp, and then you can bring that out at the end and then be like, oh, by the way, now you have to ban this. Or maybe they just didn't want him banned. Resisted? Okay. Now they get the immunity. Does not strip. Does not strip again. At least on the, on the silver. Strips the other ones. Ooh, this is rough. This is going to be rough for them. This is going to be a Douglas Spotlight. We know. And Dark Puppeteer, too. Yeah. Between those two units, that's going to steal the show. Juno is going to get a turn. She's going to do some heals for the uh, for herself, at least. And the cleanse. Uh, I was going to say, the Dark Puppeteer is actually really good in that comp as well. They, they drafted really well. Cleave team. Don't have any Cleave Cleave units just yet. Okay. Which one gets banned out? Ishir? Ishir gets banned. So they're definitely taking, well, they should be taking turn one on the right. They do. Ooh, and they did not have the immunity on the left-hand side. That was a fast match. Very interesting. What gets banned? Okay, Smicer gets banned. Fair enough. Smicer is going to be very strong there. I I wouldn't mind seeing the uh, Sweaky win. Seeing him steal the show here. Gets the bomb. Okay. 
I mean, the, the 33 lead with the Leo on there, it's not as uh, not as strong, not as massively impactful. But this this might be a squeaky showcase. Okay, gets the skill too. Not dead yet. No defense breaks. Wow. All right, the defense breaks here, but unfortunately, unfortunately, the uh, Nana did not move before Suiki did. Oh, he is going down. Well, no, he's still alive, still alive. Barely. And big damage. Gonna take the monkey down for sure. And the occult girl is n the occult girl as well. Okay, so two stacks on the Nana. Welcome back again. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a squeaky showcase. Great unit though. Great unit. Ooh, the Chandra cigar early pick. And the bombs on the left hand side. Even more bombs on the left hand side. So Ashira's banned, so well both of the fastest base speed units were banned. So let's see who takes turn one. Wusa takes turn uh Chiwu takes turn one. And he doesn't get the cigar. I guess you could say close but no cigar. I'll see myself out. I'll see myself out. Okay, what's gonna happen now? He doesn't uh he doesn't get the CC. They took a lot of bombs, so the bombs did not uh did not do a crazy amount of damage there. I was expecting the bombs to do a little bit more. Suppression, which means that it's gonna really limit what they can do. Ooh, now the CC. Now the CC. And they they, they got nothing with that suppression on them. They, they can't really even use their skills to come back from that. Chandra and Minato, right at the beginning. Oh, two shadow casters and a whole bunch of LDs. Got it. Got it, got it. They banned one speed lead. They have a better speed lead, though. Okay. Oh, Wasima. Took some damage. She's still in the game, though. Let's see. How much damage does this crumble do? It's it's nice to have that uh, that extra 33 speed to contest turn one. But oh my god, all these LDs on this team. <laughs> all these LDs. Too many LDs. Too many LDs, too little bank account. I don't know what that bank account, it could be free to play, who knows. Interesting, first pick, wind, uh, shadow caster. Unexpected. An odd draft on the right hand side, but I do like to see some odd drafts. So let's see, shadow tie, and then get the cracking, decrease the uh, the attack age, and then switches all of the attack ages around. By the way, if you haven't been doing too much uh, arena rush lately, uh, that wind shadow caster is actually very popular on uh, on arena defense nowadays. Does not get the Camila. Wind shadow caster is an under. He was kind of doo doo when he first came out, but he's gotten definitely much better. And there is a lot of value in interrupting, uh, well, he strips as well. Uh, so he strips, he does debuffs, and he also interrupts the, uh, switches the attack gauge uh, of the opponent's team. Ooh, bye-bye. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. This, this might have to be, okay, either this is already over, or this is a Camila steals the show in a very, very disgusting fashion. Either one is possible, it is Summoner's War. And this is why you make your Camilla fast, by the way. There's a lot of people for uh, over the years, over the, pa over the past 10 years, because Camilla was one of the first units, uh, one of the first Nat 5s in the game. Um, there's a lot... <sighs> just disgusting. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people that would put, like, no speed on their Camilla, and they'd be like, oh, she's not doing anything. It's like, well, she's not getting turns, and she needs to... He like, she heals when she takes a turn, you need to put speed on Camila. You can't just make it super slow. Camila does require very good rune efficiency though. Well, player on the right hand side is taking turn one for sure. And they're not really drafting, I mean, unless this is shield will and they're hoping to just have RNG on their side. 
which it's no, it's full will, but yeah, I I don't think they really draw uh, Annabelle. Annabelle's just gonna go with skill too, yeah. Duality of hacker. Uh, I don't know. And then skill. Oh, they proc. They do proc. Gets the cracking. Absorbs the attack age. They proc again. Oh, that could that could have been a very nasty combo. Although they're gonna get a turn before Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle's. Yeah, she cc'd. Yeah, they they didn't really they didn't really bring in enough to to counter that aggressive control team. They they had things on will, but aside from that, it really wasn't enough. They needed something else to be able to cut in and uh, turn the tides of battle, so to speak, I guess. And this is already over. I mean, this this was over like 30 seconds ago. This was over maybe even at the pick ban phase, I feel. So. So we got a lot of uh, typical... They got a lot of debuffs on that left-hand side. A lot of debuffs. They got the strips into dots. They got the Rika more dots. They got the... Uh, the debuffs, the, the new debuffs with the silver and the suppression as well. And then they have Shizuka's just gonna come in and duplicate all of that. All right, so they get some stuns. There we go, skill two. Skill three here. Suppression. All of those dots. And then Shizuka's gonna come in, yep. And even more of everything. Well, some of it was redundant, but yeah. I suppose they could have kind of waited. Would have been more efficient. But they wanted all those extra dots. And also maybe some of the units might not have had all the debuffs. They wanted to get as much value as they could. Duality of Hacker. It's looking, looking pretty good for the time being. Okay, get the speed ups. Get some absorbed attack cage. Decrease cooldowns. Oh my god, it's just it's just so many turns, so many debuffs on the opponent's team, not letting them really do anything. And this is one of the things that you don't really it's it's in effect, but you're not really seeing it firsthand is that speed lead helping them get so many turns and not let the opponents do much. There we go, duality of hacker again. Oh my god. This is getting this is getting wild. If only there was a Layla here. <laughs> oh, I mean Layla could just make it even worse. Try and take this Vanessa down. Oh yeah, wow. This is wild. As soon as they take the Vanessa down, they can get this uh, Rakuni. Jeez. Because he absorbs attack age too with the skill too. So decreasing the cooldowns on him as he's absorbing attack age is just making him even just that much more dangerous. Oh my god. I mean, the opponent could have gotten maybe, maybe a turn by 2025. Maybe if they're lucky. They got, they got nothing. They got no turns. Wild. Oh, hold on. Camille's gonna, <laughs> Camille's gonna solo. You never know. You really never know. Yeah, this is, this is kind of wild. But that's kind of the point, right? That's kind of the point. Speed lead, lots of debuffs, crazy nonsense. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for this one. I would have loved to see some more uh, high-level gameplay, but there's only a certain, this is a small, small, small amount of people that have this unit. So we got to see whatever we can get our hands on. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Very strong unit. I will see you as always in the next one.